Good morning, Home Biscuits. It is Friday, May 26th, and today is travel day. But I decided that I am going to upload my vlogs separately um, from the weight loss. It really only takes a few minutes to do um, my weight loss videos. So for those that are interested in just watching my weight loss videos, I am going to separate them. It's not going to be anything professional. It's still going to be very vlog style because it works for me. And so far, uh, people like it. So I'm going to do very similar to what I used to do before when I didn't have time. Um, or didn't make the effort to have time was just uploading my weight loss weigh in and then talking a little bit about what the previous two weeks have been like and then if you care to know more about me and and get to know me as a person then you can just watch all the rest of my other videos which are going to be more vlog style but still very much incorporating a lot of what I eat and things like that within that because it's part of my life so it only makes sense right so anyways that's enough talking um, I'm gonna jump on the scale for this week it's been May 13th was the last one and I think I waited at 10 8. So, here's the scale, and we've got a neighbor today. <laughs> I'm going to put the camera down because um, I was advised that sometimes this adds a little, you know, more weight. I don't know how true that is, but I guess. So, I'm just going to put you all here. Oh, I've got to turn this on again. I'm going to step on it. <sighs> here we go. There it is, 307.8. Nice, okay, so I think I lost three pounds exactly because uh, my weigh-in was at 310.8 in two weeks. I'm okay with that because that pr brings me back exactly where I was before where I was losing between two to three pounds, one to three pounds a week, and um, that feels good. I wanna take it easy and just, just you know not have a drastic change or starve myself or anything which I haven't done um, I'm not gonna talk too much about my keto diet today only because again I'm still kind of learning a lot of it and I don't feel like I know so much where I can be like you know this is what you need to do and this is your meal plan and that's I'm still learning a lot of that however if you are thinking about doing the keto diet and have done your own personal research I do have to say that my, I would say maybe three top three tips that I would um, recommend uh, someone doing would be one again, and I said this before at a different um, type of lifestyle that go shopping, go shopping for what the things that you need before you start on your diet because I think that makes it a little bit easier to jump right in because you have everything at hand. A lot of people don't, or at least it's just me. I don't know. Maybe it's just me that. I, I didn't do that, but I learned my lesson finally, and I decided to go shopping for the stuff, the basic things that I needed, um, because I tend to just eat what I have that I'm not supposed to because it's stored there and I don't have what I need right away. So that's number one. Number two is do not care about calories at the beginning. I still don't kind of care about calories, but my body is slowly adjusting that it's kind of taking care of itself and I'm eating less calories because I'm transitioning into um, the state of ketosis, right? But at the beginning it was hard because my body's like, where are my carbs? You've been feeding me carbs for years and years and years and now you take them away. So in order for me to fight those to fight that feeling was just I just continued eating more of the stuff that I'm supposed to eat on a keto diet without looking at calorie intake calorie intake the only thing I did look at was my fat intake right as long as my carbs were low I didn't look at calories and the last tip is just not to be hard on yourself about it I think I had like the beginning I I went to that food and wine festival um, I didn't really record it but that day I had half a glass of wine and I had like two sushi rolls and it was very low carbs but I, I had it because it was like so new to me and I just I just had to do it but I stuck through it I only had those two pieces and that half glass of wine because I was really like okay really I just need that urge to go away but I found replacements and like I said your body slowly tells you that it doesn't want anymore and it gets easier for your temptations because at one point you won't even have any left last night I went out and um, I didn't have any they had luckily for me they had tons of veggies uh, for their menu and pork and things like that so I just indulged in that and that's it so it's been pretty good I do want to sit down and do more a video on, on my experience so far but um, yeah I'm really happy I feel great just the carbs part of it honestly I feel like my body it doesn't feel bloated anymore um, last night I was told from uh, from someone that hadn't seen me in a few months 
they're like, oh my gosh, from the very first time I met you, I can tell you're losing weight, and yeah. So the next thing I want to talk about, which is something really close that I've been mentioning before, is reaching my my kind of first two first goal, but it's a kind of a two for one goal because my goal, my first goal, obviously, is to lose first 50 pounds. I'm really close because I will when I get to 299, I will lose lose my first 50. I can't even talk my first 50 pounds. But that it also means that um, at 299, I will be under 300. So it's kind of a two for one, and I'm really excited. Um, and that initial weigh-in, um, if you look back at my video, I weighed in at like 340 something, but I uploaded a picture because a week before that, I had it on my Instagram because initially I was just gonna do Instagram posts for my weight loss journey, but I'm such a social butterfly that it just made no sense for me not to join the YouTube community and build a support system, which is really what I need and still continue to need. So yeah, I'm excited for that and I'm excited to bring you guys along with me and to uh, cheer you all on. I've subscribed to a few new channels that have left me comments um, and I'm excited it and I'm, I will do my very best to support all of you just as you bring that to me so I'll see you guys in my next way in bye hey thanks for watching make sure to follow me on all my social media at I am Lolo and don't forget to subscribe